of doors and kitchen renovation stuff everywhere. So it's been taking up or consuming most of my spare time, which I haven't vlogged for you guys for a little while because we are really trying to just get settled in, especially before like really winter hits. So I want to show you guys, and my camera lost a screw so it keeps moving. I want to show you guys kind of what our kitchen looks like now. So I just got home from a run. It is super cold. It's like in the 40s and super cold, like 20 mile an hour north wind. So it feels like winter out there. So let me show you guys what we have been living through. So this is been done. So my dad showed me how to basically clean them, sand them, paint them, then clean them, sand them, paint them. And then now they're white cabinets with kind of like these gold poles on them. Um, and then I, you can kind of see, I lined them like with like a marble paper inside. Um, so those are all painted and ready to go. And then the trim is being painted and then we're going to paint the walls gray. Countertops are coming later this week. Uh, that was a big delay for us because they said you'll have countertops on their surfaces two to three weeks, three at the absolute maximum. So we were like, okay, great. So we ordered them, gone ready to go. And then they've been delayed because so many people are updating their houses right now with the pandemic. So we are waiting on countertops. But I thought you would like to see this. I saw this saying, it says coffee. Do stupid things faster with more energy. So I'm gonna like kind of make this a little coffee area and I'm actually gonna get like a TV here and I'll probably put the coffee thing up higher cause it's got a shelf. Um, but yeah, so my dad's going to put in like a backsplash over here. Um, this is the only surface I have is this plywood that we've been using just until the countertops get in. We have been dishwasher and sinkless. We're going on. This will probably be week. This is the start of week six. So we, my, my dad, I mean, he went super, super fast and got everything done, you know, because we thought the countertops were going to be, you know, biting at our heels. So we went really, really fast and got it done so quickly and then uh and then i sold my stove because i got a newer one it's like an air fryer and it's got all these different options and then now we're delayed because we need countertops to put in a sink and to finish the plumbing so we're delayed but nevertheless it will be gorgeous yeah, you can see the microwave we finally just put that back in because that's the only way i can cook right now but the doors are off like the laundry and the pantry. So to say it's a mess is an understatement. <laughs> but this is actually the cleanest it's been in a couple weeks. I just got it kind of clean because the um, countertops come in four days. So hopefully we'll get those installed. And then my dad is going to do the plumbing and finish up the sink. Because the countertop people put in the sink. But he's got to do the plumbing and the faucet and the dishwasher and all that. So hopefully a mostly functioning kitchen. And then also the stove is out too. Because they were like don't put the the stove in until we get the countertops in. So here is the stove <laughs> sitting over here for almost four weeks. I did go for a run today and it felt so good. I'll have to show you guys. I got the Bondi sixes because I have just been like in a rut and I just can't find like an everyday shoe that I'm reaching for. So I kept reading the reviews and everybody's like, yeah, they're similar to the, the sixes. Um, I'm sorry, I have the Bondi 7s, and they said that the 6s or the 7s are the same as the 6s, so I didn't want to get anything different. Well, I was like, well, I love running warehouse, you know, basically they'll let you try them, and if you don't like them, ship them back, and you get all your money back, and free shipping on top of that. So I went ahead and I bought them, and today was my first run in them, and they are different from the 6s. They are softer, I feel like there's no break-in period. I had problems with the tongue, almost like rubbing my front of my ankle last year and that's not an issue and my hands are renotting so they're super cold right now <laughs> and white but I love them so if you're looking for like an everyday kind of shoe because I used to like like the Clifton threes because they were a wide platform these I think are my everyday shoe I will be reaching for they are definitely a little bit different and in a good way than the Bondi sixes and I don't know if I showed you guys uh, Mark Miller is an artist and an athlete and he comes to Ironman events and he actually paints like live like as we're running and swimming and biking and all that so he was on top of like the um the double helix if you will in Madison and I remember seeing him when I came out of the water and it was a cold day so I just love how he really kind of captures what the day was like 
Um, it was a cold day, so he was up there painting the picture of it. And then the ride, you can kind of see there's always people at the top of this really, really long, steep hill that we climb. And then the running down by the Capitol. So these are the pictures. Um, like I said, it's uh, Mark Miller. He goes to like the Ironman events and he actually captures it. So this is 2019 Ironman Wisconsin. And he was running a special because he's like, you know, I know there's no Ironmans and nobody's really racing right now, but he put on like a really good promo. So I got, it was like a bundle. Like if you get the swim bike and run, you got a better deal. So I just add, love adding like a little piece of Iron Man, but yet it's art, but it doesn't scream Iron Man. It's very pretty and I just love it. And it's cool because I like, I was there that year and I, I always look at the swim and I'm like, yep, that was a very cold, choppy, ugh, cold swim. That was one of my worst swims. It was so hard to swim because the water was so choppy, but I just love it. little screw missing so whenever I flip up the screen to make sure like I'm in the shot it flips me upside down <laughs> but anyway so I'm gonna go out for a run it just started raining about 20 minutes ago so I'm a little nervous I'm hoping it stops because it was like a real quick rain shower and now it's just kind of like misting but it's like 44 degrees and by the way guys it's October and we have one to three inches of snow coming next weekend next weekend and next weekend I actually have my actually this weekend I have my firefighter physical exam so it's called CPAT so it's an exam just to make sure that you're ready for the job which I've done before I've passed before I haven't done it since I started my career back in 2006 so I, I actually did it in 2005 it's been 15 years <laughs> so to say I'm nervous and I'm probably in the worst shape I've been just because I didn't train for any Ironmans this year, any marathons, any races, just nothing. It was really just try to train and keep yourself just physically fit. But I feel like I'm not up to par. So I'm a little nervous. I, I think I can pass, but I am a little nervous because I need this. Basically, you have to have it to submit resumes and apply and stuff. So I'm a little nervous, so I need some finger crossing for me. <laughs> Um, but yes, I am going to go out for this run. I'll kind of show you what it looks like out there. It's super yucky. Um, just started like raining and blowing leaves off the trees and just a cold and dreary day. But I'm going to go get this run on. Hopefully I don't get too wet and hopefully everything goes well with the hamstrings and my buttocks because everything's been super, super tight. And I don't know if it's just because of like moving and whatnot. So I definitely had a lot of weight training with all the moving I did from moving out of my house and packing it all by myself, moving it with movers and then moving it all in and unpacking all by myself. I have done a lot of lifting in the last three to four months. All right, stop talking. Let's run. Oh, and then problem number two is when you move and I have everything in the closet. I don't know where winter wear is. <laughs> I have no clue. So I gotta go search in the basement for it. Good morning guys, I am back and I am sweaty. Today was my um, firefighter physical exam. I had to get it, so I got my certificate. It says I passed, so it's something you have to attach to all your resumes when you're applying because most departments in America require it. So I got it, I got it done, holy moly. At least that's done. I'm glad that was a hundred bucks of fun. <laughs> Why do I pay to torture myself all the time? But I wanted to show you guys now that I'm back home. We got the countertops in and a stove, so I want to show you. So this is what the kitchen is starting to look like. Yes, we still have an air compressor in here and things aren't, you know, 100% put together, but my dad is going to start working on the backsplash. Now the cabinets are white. Um, I had gold poles added. I really like kind of the touch or the jewelry of the gold on the white cabinets. And then I got some gray and white bar stools because it's just a little bit of an overhang. And then you guys saw that the sample. Um, so I got like a quartz. It's kind of like a grayish whitish quartz. 
and <clears throat> I had that installed. And then when you order the quartz, um, you can basically like get a sink for a, like a nominal price. So they put a sink in and then my dad did all the plumbing. And then I got the sink faucet again, just like I like the gold touches, the gold and black. It's just very classic. I feel like if I add lots of whites and blacks and golds, I think it'll stay very true to time. So um, I just feel like getting a lot of whites will really help it kind of stand the test of time. Um, yeah, so this is the stove I was talking about earlier. I had one of these in my previous house. They were doing an extraordinary deal for kind of like first responders and whatnot. And the store, Nebraska Furniture Mart, that's really close to my house, about 20 minutes away, had deals on top of that. I mean, it was an incredible deal. But this is a super cool stove. It's got like baking, convection, roasting, broil. It's got an air fryer built in keep warm, bread proofing, and dehydrating. Um, but it's just really, really nice. All the knobs kind of like light up this like blue, um, but super, super cool stove that I got and I love it. I made some like shrimp and uh, mushroom thing last night and it was so fast it boiled in just minutes so I'm so happy about my new oven. All the little things, right? <laughs> um, but that is the new oven. And then we kept the existing microwave, but we put it back up. The doors are off like the pantry and the laundry room. And then the little desk area obviously got painted as well. And then the quartz was added. So um, you can see this as well. So like this is the quartz sample and then obviously the quartz that they put in. But they did an awesome job. They were only here for about two hours installing because everything's done at the like factory and then like I said we're gonna do like a barn door to kind of close off the basement area so it'll kind of sit here and then when it's closed it'll go over the door area so I'm gonna go kind of finish my workout I almost feel like I need a cool down I, I, I was done in like nine minutes it's extremely hard for nine minutes but it's over in nine minutes so as an endurance athlete I'm like well, that's it I want more <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go get a workout in because I work later today um, and then I work a little bit tomorrow and it's supposed to snow. So yeah. And this was my first time wearing my Iron Man shirt. So. so this is the Mickey I was talking about in my bathroom. So this little thing, I ordered it on Etsy. It was about like $10. And, I, and there's all these different designs, but I ordered the castle. But if you see underneath, it dispenses soap out in the shape of a Mickey. So there's kind of my Mickey soap. <laughs> It's, it's bleeding through my hands, but you can see it. It's pretty cool. It's nice to have a little touch of Mickey. I guess they have these um, common in the Hong Kong China, or I can't remember which one. Um, one of the international Disneylands. So, pretty cool.
Well guys, welcome to my bike I'm gonna ride today because it's warm, but this is the <laughs> factory in my garage of repainting cabinets and refinishing doors and floors and appliances and backsplash and tiling and this happened yesterday. We got the floors restained, so I have to be careful. They're obviously not finished, but they restained the floors yesterday, so it stinks. But yeah, this is uh, the floors, and they are refinished like a dark walnut. So we're on the home stretch, and then, um, yeah, so we're living under paper, so <laughs> I had to get to the microwave, as you can see, because <laughs> my kids wanted waffles, and I couldn't get to the toaster, so... This is what we're living in and we're all tarped up. We slept in like one room that was confined last night because it was pretty stinky, but now it's much better in here. But it's almost done. All right guys, well good morning. Today is a warm day. It is Wednesday and I've got somebody coming to blow out the sprinklers because it's getting colder outside. So it's just that time of year to get it done. Uh, floors are going to be uh, a couple extra coats they're going to put on today and then they're going to finish them up the following day. I work tonight and it's fairly warm, so I want to get a bike ride in. So, with that being said, duck through, <laughs> I am going to go for a bike ride. So, it's about 55, 56 degrees outside, so I really want to go outside and get a bike ride. Um, it, again, just about 45 minutes. My day is really jam packed with just appointments, plus, I need to sleep before I work all night. So it's kind of hard because they're all kind of scheduled for the middle part of the day and that's usually when I nap before the kids come home. You know, kind of get a like, good two, three hour nap and then it gets me through the stretch of working tonight. No, it's not a normal amount of sleep, but it does help me get through the night because I can sleep all day Thursday when I come home. However, they're going to finish the floors. So I'll show you kind of what our living room looks like. So just about the time that we were getting almost everything finished up, they said, you know, obviously floors are done at the end. But like I said, um gonna try to get that bike ride in. I am actually really excited to be able to go for a bike ride just because it's been a while. And what's sad is like, I was looking at my other videos, the dopey, I know. I have my dopey shirt on. I'm so sad, like wine and dine was supposed to be this weekend and we did it four years ago. So when the presidential election was happening, we flew home and we found out who the president was by the time we got home. And it's just so weird how life has changed in four years. And I don't mean like presidential and politically. I guess more personally, like my husband and I were celebrating our anniversary. We were in the Wine and Dine Marathon together that weekend. So it's just, it's a weird feeling, but not having run Disney at all this year. Say hi, Coco. Say hi. She doesn't like this at all either because she's stuck into one room. <laughs> yes, yes. But yes, it is just so odd to not have any run Disney events. Like, it would be so nice. Come on to be able to have like a run Disney event this year because it has been so hard just emotionally this year. I mean, who hasn't in 2020, but just with my husband leaving all of a sudden about this time last year to getting a divorce finalized a couple weeks ago, it's been hard and it would have been nice to kind of have that on the calendar as something really just to kind of look forward to and train and as selfish as it sounds, just be for me so I know that there will be another run Disney event so in other ways I'm like this is a good time save up your money just really kind of let your body rest which I have been doing pretty much this entire year which my body needed it it definitely needed it after almost four Ironmans in three years so it needed it so enough talking let's get ready for this bike ride
miles in. It's been a slow go. It's extremely windy. So it's been taking a little while, but I will feel like Lance Armstrong now that I'm gonna head home, which is to the north, because we have a south wind, and that's what's making us so warm. But I'm just out here kind of in the neighborhoods that we used to live in, and it's so pretty, and I'm glad I made the decision to come out. I don't know about you guys, but how many times do you not go on a bike ride or a run outside because it does take more effort. Like I had to, you know, pump up my tires, get a water bottle, get all my outdoor gear out. And I kept thinking to myself, man, I really don't want to, I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll just go in the basement and cycle. I'm glad I did. And here's to me saying, go outside while you can, because I can just like feel it in the air. It's going to get colder and it's going to stay colder. So if you have the opportunity to get outside and cycle, run, whatever it is that you enjoy, do it. Oh, good evening. It's evening now, and my dog is chasing grapes around on the floor. <laughs> um, I just got home from work, woke up early, got a workout in, felt good. One of the best feelings is getting your kitchen closer to the finish line. I'll show you guys. So like I said, we were getting the floors done. I think the last time you guys saw it was we had like tarps up, so obviously we still have like I still have stuff on the counter that was in the pantry over here and we don't have the pantry and laundry room doors up, but it's getting there guys. It's so close and the floors were all done. I mean, we have to put like in the quarter round. Um, so we still have to do that, but it's getting so close and I absolutely love the wood floors. So our table will go here and then our two bar stools will be over here, but it's so close. So I am gonna wrap up the vlog for today. You guys will like that. Iron Man 2019. There's no Iron Man's in 2020. It was supposed to be Tulsa, but it didn't happen. Which, technically I'm still registered for Tulsa 2021, which is crazy to think, because I'm like, gosh, I can't even imagine just with everything going on in life and working so much and you know trying to get back on a fire truck, which tomorrow I take the written exam. Um, so I had like my physical exam about two weeks ago. I talked to you guys about that. And then I have my written exam for firefighting is tomorrow morning. And then I work an 18 hour shift after that. So tomorrow's gonna be crazy busy. So that's why I wanted to end this vlog for you guys. Um, but yeah, 2021, I just can't even imagine an Iron Man. However, Iron Man Florida is happening this weekend. A lot of the Trice Arena sisters, you know, live down in Florida because that's where the company's out of and they are gonna be racing, cheering, uh, sponsoring Trice Arena. So it's going to be pretty cool to see some races actually hit the ground running. So I'm excited to see some normal things happening so with that said i hope you guys all had a great week i know this was election week and no matter who you voted for or who you want to be the president can we all just get along <laughs> what makes this great is that we all have opinions and we need to respect one another whoever that person may be our president we respect that because that's what americans do we respect our commander-in-chief so just remember that when you start arguing or posting political stuff, just be respectful. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna wrap this up and I will see you guys next week. I don't work as much next week, so hopefully I can get some more training in and I will take you guys with me. So you guys have a great week and I'll see you next week.